Massive Plus is a consortium of leading industrial companies in Sweden, including Volvo Cars, IKEA, Sandvik, Alfa Laval, SKF, Microsoft, LKAB, Ovaco, and SSAB that are working together to create a common platform and standard for sharing and validating sustainability data across the supply chain. The initial goal of Massive Plus is to enable more accurate and transparent reporting of greenhouse gas emissions, starting with Scope 1 and 2 to more accurately allocate and calculate Scope 3, which covers the indirect emissions from the upstream and downstream activities of a company. Massive Plus is not defining a new data protocol for sharing, but rather a framework that brings multiple initiatives together in an integrated composite protocol to share organizational sustainability data. The Massive Plus framework starts with defining the what data to share in a sustainability data exchange protocol, or SDEP, that layers an organization's data from high-level company and location data to more granular product-level data via protocol messages. It does this by building on existing standards in development, carbon call for organizational-level metadata, asset admin shell for supply chain features that would support initiatives like Digital Product Passport and the WBCSD product footprint. Next, how the members of Massive Plus share this data with each other is by establishing a peer-to-peer -peer network where each participant provides a node called a beacon that uses the protocol to exchange sustainability data with each other. Initially, this network is very simple with the intention of expanding capabilities with data spaces to enable data sharing policies, contracts, participant sovereignty, supply chain traceability, and align with other networks like Katina X in the future. Data that is shared is then analyzed by the participants to create dashboards providing a clearer view of the energy use and emissions impact in their supply chain. Let's look at the Massive Plus framework in action. First, we will use the Massive Plus console client to authenticate with our own beacon and ask it to tell us about the other beacons it knows about on the network. We can request to view our own organizational data, but what we really want to do is have our beacon request data from another member organization so we can use it for analytics. Before I do this, let's look at the data the beacon already has for the members of the network in its storage. You will notice it only has the data for our own organization and empty folders for the other organizations. So I'll switch back to the console to request that our beacon use the protocol to get data from another member. Then I'll switch back to look at the data retrieved and stored from this other member. To do this, I can open the organizational protocol message and evaluate its contents. These protocol messages are machine readable and may be difficult to understand in this raw format. But if we look closely enough, we can see where a member organization can adjust the supply chain tiers of the other members. I can then repeat this data request using the protocol for each organization on the network that I want to include in my analytics. Now we'll switch to view the business intelligence dashboard that was created from this shared data. Then create a dashboard report to view the CO2 emitted and the megawatt hours consumed for the combined impact of the supply chain.
This is just the first step in a long journey, not only to save time preparing standardized data for sharing, but establish best practices, map supply chains, and provide more accurate, granular data to help decarbonize supply chains.